September, 21-year-old Tory activist Elliot Johnson took his own life. Notes he left behind referred to bullies and betrayers and pointed to senior figures within the party he loved. Two months later, the PM has taken action. I feel deeply for his parents. It is, you know, an appalling loss to suffer. Um, and that's why it's so important that there's a proper coroner's inquiry. In terms of what the Conservative Party should do, there needs to be and there is a proper inquiry to ask all the questions, to interview all the people who've come forward. That will take place. There's an independent lawyer from Clifford Chance will oversee that uh, process and make sure that it um, reaches uh, clear conclusions from the evidence that, that comes through. Grant Shapps was the Conservative Party chairman who recruited Mark Clark to run Road Trip 2015, an initiative to get young Tory activists to key marginal seats in the general election. Elliot was one of those. It's claimed Grant Shapps knew of complaints about Mr Clark, of sexual harassment and bullying, the subject of increasingly lurid allegations, but failed to act. In his resignation letter, Mr Shapps wrote... Over the past few weeks, as individual allegations have come to light, I have come to the conclusion that the buck should stop with me. Given the very serious nature of what has subsequently occurred and my role in appointing Mr Clark, I cannot help but conclude that the only right course of action is for me to step down as a minister in your government. The family say the current chairman, Lord Feldman, also has questions to answer. Elliot's father told The Guardian newspaper, Grant Shapps has resigned, but that's not the end of it. There are other people involved in this scandal, and we'll take one pin down at a time, if need be. Mr Clark denies any wrongdoing, but it's alleged over two dozen complaints have been made against him. Even the former party chairman, Baroness Varsi, had written of her concerns as early as January, calling him a disaster waiting to happen. This former party activist and now chairman of a conservative think tank has told Sky News that he was first made aware of allegations of bullying against Mr Clark in 2007. I think Grant Shapps has any place in politics at all. I don't think he should be um, a member of parliament based on his track record, but it, it's certainly a good thing that he's no longer involved in any way in the government. But I don't think it goes any way to... Um, deal with what's been going on at Conservative Central Office. He hasn't worked there since May, and clearly this, this cover-up has continued beyond that. And so I think serious attention has to be paid to the structure of Conservative Central Office and the other people there. News of the independent inquiry and Mr Shap's fate has been welcomed by the Labour Party. The surprise to many people looking at this was how long it took for this to be taken seriously by the Conservative Party. And the question which must remain now, and which I, you know, I hope the, the party will answer, is that who else knew about this and who else failed to take action? Because people will suspect that there is an attempt to pile all the blame on Mr Shapps. Elliot Johnson's death has left behind a shattered family, but also searching questions as to why the Conservative Party failed to root out an alleged culture of bullying and left it so late to act. Robert Nisbet, Sky News, Westminster.